Doug, this has been a nasty storm here in Marshfield. I'm joined by Marshfield's fire chief, Jeff Simpson. Thank you so much for joining us this morning. I know your department has been very busy. What kind of damage are you dealing with here in town? A lot of tree damage. Uh, we have multiple homes where trees have fallen on those homes more than I can remember in any recent storm. Uh, there has been some flooding. Uh, thankfully, it's been fairly minor because of the astronomically low tide, but still uh, significant in some areas nevertheless. Uh, lots of wind damage. We have stuff flying around. The one thing we'd like to ask the residents is please slow down, be careful at intersections, look both ways, stay away from wires. We still have multiple power outages and restoration won't begin for a little bit because of the winds. Tell me about um, this afternoon, because some people may be hearing that the storm is pulling away and that conditions may be improving, but we were just talking about there could still be some flooding down along the coast, too. Right, yeah, I've talked to our emergency uh, management, uh, Lieutenant Shaw, and uh, I do believe we will have some flooding this afternoon, especially uh, in the Esplanade, our uh, uh, coastal roads. Um, the tide is going to be a little bit bigger this afternoon. The winds won't be as strong. They're not going to be coming directly from the northeast, but I would anticipate some flooding. So people just stay away from those areas. Uh, it's a good day to stay inside, make some soup, uh, relax, watch a few movies. I know there was no school today. Uh, my kids are at home. I hope they're studying for tomorrow. But um, just everybody, just please be careful. We're not out of the woods yet. Uh, winds are going to blow uh, over 40 miles an hour for the rest of the day, as uh, AJ and Cindy just said. Now, I know the power lines are down in some areas, but was this just um, trees being, bringing power lines down, or did you have transformers going and starting any fires in town at all? What were you dealing with in terms of that? We have multiple close calls, but thankfully uh, we've had no fires to report. Uh, it's been mostly uh, transformer issues, uh, fuse issues, power line issues, and multiple trees either uprooted, uh, snapped, uh, large branches, limbs, blocking roads. Uh, our crews are doing a fantastic job along with uh, Marshall PD and uh, DPW keeping those roads open so, uh, so that we can get through. So, like I said, we're asking the residents to help us out, uh, stay home, uh, be careful in intersections, uh, be patient. Uh, you will get your power back, um, but it's going to take a little bit of time and um, maybe watch a movie today, read or relax. Eversource is the utility here in town. Is there any estimate that you know of on when power could come back? I don't have that estimate. Uh, I, would, I would refer that to uh, emergency management here in town. We can get you that answer. Okay. Um, but uh, I know they're going to do everything they can possibly do to get it back. And we've been in uh, constant contact with them. But right now, it's just too dangerous for uh, linesmen to be up in bucket trucks. Uh, winds are still gusting to 50 right here. Um, I certainly wouldn't want to be doing that myself. So. Of course. We've talked to a couple of people who said that they're running generators as fire chief. Do you have a reminder to people how can they properly use a generator when they're without power? Okay, as far as the generators go, just please, if they're gasoline fire generators, make sure that they're away from your home, um, not in a confined space because of carbon monoxide issues. Uh, I think that's the most important thing. Um, you know, generators can be extremely dangerous, and I know a lot of people own them, but just be careful. Uh, not something we want to run inside the garage. That's where we have a lot of our problems because the carbon monoxide fumes back up into the house makes people sick. So just be cautious and, um, you know, pay attention to uh, Channel 5, the weather, uh, as best you possibly can if you have power. And uh, like I said, we'll, things will get back to normal slowly but surely. Finally, compare this storm to other storms that you've had here in Marshfield. Uh, as far as the, the winds go, the winds in this storm are up there with the worst storms that we've had. Uh, it's the tides that, that we're very thankful that we had astronomically low tides, where next month we're going into quite the high tide cycle of 11-foot tides. If we had that today, it would have been devastating. It would have rivaled any storm that the town has faced in the past 50 years. Uh, but thankfully, uh, that those conditions don't exist. But either way, uh, the winds today would rival any of our biggest storms that we've dealt with in the past uh, 30 to 40 years. All right. Chief Jeffrey Simpson of the Marshfield Fire Department, thank you so much. Not a problem. And thank you to all of your firefighters, too, for the work that they're doing here in town. Again, you just heard it. They have trees down, power lines down. They're asking people to be safe. Uh, Jessica and Doug, I'll send it back to you.